In InDesign, you make a rectangular shape by utilizing the Rectangle tool. But what if you wanted to make a rectangular shape that had rounded corners, something like this, where the edges are just curved in? Or this, where they're curved in more? Or this, or this? In this tutorial, I show you how to make rounded rectangles. Hey, if you would like a free InDesign swipe file that already has a rounded rectangle, as well as other vector art like speech and thought balloons, bursts and seals, click the link below or the icon in the upper right hand corner. Hello creative! It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. But first, would you like a free cheat sheet? Sir, yes, sir! Head over to graphicsgirl.com to download your free InDesign cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Just click the link below. Making a rectangle with rounded corners is almost just like making a regular rectangle in that you start with your shape tool and begin with a regular rectangle. The difference comes right up here. It's right up here where you can change the style of that rectangle and the degree to which that style is applied to your shape. So. I'm going to start by taking my selection tool by hitting V or selecting the top black arrow on the rectangle that I'd like to change. With that second rectangle selected now, I come right up here to the drop down on this shape. And what you're going to see is that in addition to having no style on a rectangle, why you could make it fancy, a bevel, inset, an inverse rounded corner, or a rounded corner. It's this one that we're gonna choose for this tutorial. After selecting rounded, it will default perhaps to 0.1667 of an inch if you have your document set to inches. Check out my other tutorial up here to see how you can convert your units of measurement to inches. So this number, 0.1667 of an inch, refers to, I'll take my zoom tool to zoom in on the corner here, refers to that angle or the degree to which that corner is inset. In this example of a rounded corner, if I were to change it to say 0.125 or an eighth of an inch, if I were to change this number to something extreme like 0.25 or a quarter of an inch, you can see now that that corner is curved more. Want to see even more? How about half an inch? Now that curvature is so great why it almost comes off the screen. So I'll use my zoom tool and this time backing out by hitting my option or alt key to back out you'll see that the degree of the angle of the corner now is very much curved. So this is how you can make a rounded rectangle in InDesign and change the degree of that angle. Some frequently used measurements include 1 16th of an inch or 0 0.0625. How about 1 8th of an inch or 0.125? quarter of an inch, 0.25, and lastly, half inch or 0.5. As a graphic designer, these are some measurements you may want to commit to memory. Hey, if you would like a free InDesign swipe file that already has a rounded rectangle, as well as other vector art like speech and thought balloons, bursts and seals, click the link below or the icon in the upper right hand corner. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like, yes! share it with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel. Woo! And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl, with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.